Hi guys, my name is Jason. Welcome to Fishing with West. Uh, recently I went out and did some fishing in North Georgia. Just wanted to recap that trip a little bit and lead up to a couple different clips I have of some of the fish I caught. Uh, first day I went out there, uh, I was, spent a lot of time looking for structure and I did not see a lot of structure, no real laydowns, nothing like that. Uh, I found a little bit of cover, but it was not what I was expecting, especially in the middle of the day, which is unfortunately when I got there at that time, and nothing was chasing. There was nothing biting. Uh, they weren't following any moving baits whatsoever. So went back home after that day, kind of regrouped, came back out, and the footage you'll see is from the second day. Um, so I got back out there, regrouped, changed a lot of rods and reels out to sm like slower moving baits um, or just super finesse uh, drop shots. Um, I was also using um, just basically a U-tail worm. Uh, during the summertime in these reservoirs with the temps going the way that they are, when fish get really, really, really finicky in the past, I've used, I've switched up to U-tails and they're just tried and true. They've, they've always worked for me. It's, they're not necessarily gonna land you an eight pound bass, but they'll get you into some fish usually, or you can at least catch, catch a couple um, on a good day, even in the dead heat of summer. So that was my plan. Went back out the next day and a couple different things were, were, were changing. It was a little bit earlier in the day. The temps weren't that that high yet, but it was still getting pretty hot. I intended to run to a different area than the area I was in before, but I just I couldn't help. I, I thought maybe the fish were a little bit more active. Maybe they may they might be chasing some some baits today. So I kind of flipped them and uh, pitched some docks going down this row and uh, got back to. Uh, the back of this like it was like a, a runoff um, that led out to the cove so I went in the runoff and it had a lot of uh, um, grass growing in it water was super clear and I saw some activity with fish but I did not get anything landed so I was like all right I'm gonna make a run I'm gonna run to the, the spot that I originally wanted to go to start getting out of that cove and I'm I'm going basically I'm, I'm in the middle of this giant well cove I guess and I go past this no wake buoy and I'm looking on my graph and I look down and it's I'm seeing a lot of activity a lot of bait fish and um, schooling fish so I I, I again I kind of got a little sidetracked so I stopped and uh, I dropped down and uh, and threw a, a, a drop shot and uh, I, you know after about five ten minutes I was starting to get some bites and I was like, well, I think this might be where they're at and what the deal is for the day. So cast it in there. And uh, again, like I said, after about five, 10 minutes, I wound up, uh, one of them just got hammered, hammered the drop shot. Um, and that was the first fish of the day. And I'll show you the clip that's coming up now. Okay. Oh, it's a smallmouth. I caught a smallie. Okay, don't go. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. Stop it. Whew. No. So that was my smallmouth bass. Uh, it's pretty cool to catch one in Georgia. I've never caught a smallmouth in Georgia. It wasn't the biggest. It's not going to break any world records, but it was fun, especially catching a drop shot in 22 feet of water. Water temp was around 84 degrees, I want to say, at that time. It, so it should give you an idea of the conditions that we were in. Fishing was really, really rough, but got out there, got on the water, and kind of grinded it out and, and found a found a fish. So. I was good. After that, I went back to that inlet in the morning because it was getting a little bit later in the day. Like I said, the water temps were, were bouncing up. It seemed like the, the drop shot stuff had kind of died off. They weren't really active. I couldn't get that school fired up. I think it might have been just a school of crappie, to be honest with you. So I went back into that, that inlet that I was in in the morning where, I, you know, there's some grass and I saw a little bit of activity. And I went back to the uh, U-tail worm. I switched it up this time. 
And the reason why is again, because in summertime, especially if these fish are kind of up shallow and they're swimming around, a lot of times that u tail worm is just, especially with like hardly any weight on it, I put a, uh, a split shot sinker on it about 12 inches above where, uh, where the hook was. So that's all that I really had going on with it. So I threw it out um, and I got a hit. And so set the hook, landed it, and uh, here's that footage. Got him. Not the one I wanted, but I'll take it. You are hooked very weirdly. I hooked his tongue. Can you stop? Okay, just flop around for a minute. And when you're done, okay, I'll, I'll pick you up. Okay. Want it in the net, apparently. You done? All right, you're like eight inches, so whatever. There you go. Caught him. On camera. So long story short, that's, that's basically how my entire day went. That was the only action that I really saw. I got a big hit in the morning and it hit it and immediately let it go. So that was it. I'm pretty happy with the, 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 the opportunities I had. I did capitalize on them. So that was good. Um, trying to find positives out of everything. You know, every time you're on the water, even if you skunk, you can always find something that'll, that'll kind of help you kind of put together another puzzle piece uh, and, and another way to kind of figure things out in the future. And like I said, no time on the water is really wasted time unless you're just not paying attention you just don't care. Because a year from now I can go back to that same lake and it'll be 85 degrees and I'll go, I know what to do. I, I know exactly what to do. I've been here before. You know? Or I can go on a similar lake or similar reservoir and go, I know what to do. Which is again, it's why I threw a split shot because I've been there before and I knew that they would bite them. You know, it's it's ridiculous because those U-tail worms have been around forever, and there's a lot of running jokes about them. But the the bottom line is, they work. So don't ever be too ashamed to kind of take those out and and try and use them. You know, not sometimes the latest and greatest isn't really going to catch all the fish. You know, Ned rigs and and you know shaky heads are great, but sometimes the fish want something different. They want a different presentation, and that's what they wanted today. So. But um, that's it. I'll let you guys get going. I appreciate your time. Uh, hit like and subscribe, and I'll be posting more of these in the future. Thanks.